This is your evening care QE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts us off with weather. Well, Dean, the last piece of the storm we're dealing with will kick out during the overnight hours here, so any remaining snow showers will die off overnight, cool and dry tomorrow with some gusty winds out there, including here in the metro area. And then the winds will quiet down for Friday. Lots of sunshine on the way and into the weekend. High pressure takes back over again. It's going to allow for a lot of sunshine, temperatures warming into the 60s with mostly sunny skies. Thanks, Mark. A dramatic scene unfolded this afternoon in northwest Albuquerque. A man takes off with his little girl, her mother screaming for help, and Good Samaritans chasing after him. Some lady started screaming fr frantically, you know, they abducted my kid, they abducted my kid. And at that same time, the, the car, a uh, silver Pontiac, pulled out, driving, you know, with the passenger door open. And his first instinct was to take off and follow him. It all started at the McDonald's at 4th and Montano. Witnesses say the child's mother is the suspect's ex-girlfriend and was giving him a ride when he started threatening her. At some point, the woman got out of the car and police believe the man even tried to run her over. Witnesses say the suspect then took off driving fast, about 50 or 60 miles an hour, with the little girl in the car. The suspect later stopped the car, got out, and took off running. That's when Pardo helped the little girl, who was still crying, in the car. Her just following him, following him, and uh, just... Uh, let everybody know, you know, the officers that were arriving, where he had went in, and he, where he was hiding, actually, because I went and chased him down, down to where he was hiding at. An APD K-9 also helped police find the suspect, who has been identified as 25-year-old Robert Francisco Lopez. Police say he's on parole and was arrested on felony warrants. Albuquerque police have released the name of the officer who shot a suspect on Monday night. He is Brian Pitzer, and he's been with APD since 2007. This is video of Pitzer back in March when he was honored by the city for saving the life of a two-day-old newborn who was choking last year. APD says Pitzer shot 34-year-old Joaquin Ortega Monday near Washington and Central. It happened after police say Ortega crashed his car into a pole, then took off on foot. That's when police say he used a gun to rob a woman and her grandson at a bus stop. Witnesses say Ortega then pointed the gun at another man and demanded a ride. And that's when Officer Pitzer arrived at the scene. APD says when he ordered Ortega to drop the gun, Ortega refused and pointed it at the officer. That's when Ortega was shot. He has since been released from the hospital. Today, Ortega faced a judge on charges of armed robbery, aggravated assault, and child abuse. He's being held at MDC without bond. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.